Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So the baseball bat has finally been added to Warzone. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, this weapon is a little disappointing. Because as you guys know, this weapon dropped in Cold War in Season 3. Usually when melee weapons drop, they add them straight into Warzone. Well, they actually held off on adding this weapon into Warzone, which I was assuming they were going to rework it and have different melee mechanics for it. But they didn't do that. I don't know why they didn't do that, but they didn't. So it has the exact same statistics as the Wakazashi, the Combat Knife, the Sledgehammer, and it's significantly slower than than the regular combat knife so it's in between the combat knife and the sledgehammer in terms of melee speed which makes this melee weapon near the bottom half of the melee weapons in warzone like it's just not something i would personally use and go into warzone and expect to do well in any way shape or form which at the end of the day is a little disappointing i wish it had at least the same speed as the combat knife which would make it at least viable in warzone where you can do pretty decent with it but you can't always get what you want and i guess it just is what it is man but anyways i ended up getting a halfway decent gameplay with it hopefully you guys do end up enjoying it if you do make sure you drop a like down below Let's you can hit 5,000 likes in four hours today. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop me a sub. And if you haven't already, make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss out on the upload. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, where are we landing today? I'm kind of feeling lucky bank, but then again, I feel like I probably should land like salt mines or something here. You know what? Let's just wing it. Let's swing it in downtown. We'll see how it goes. Today, we're checking out the baseball bat. They finally added it into Warzone. And I'm excited to use it, man. It looks like the stats are about the same as the other melee weapons, which sucks. I don't know why they just didn't add it in at the start. And I think somebody just killed themselves over there. <laughs> you heard that little, ah, <laughs> little, like, grunt or whatever that was. Oh, wow. Almost didn't make that jump there. Sometimes it'll auto do your shoot when you're not even trying to do that as somebody literally is here already. Yeah, he broke through the glass. I'm so dead, dude. I'm so dead. I'm out of here, bro. Wow, we could have died there, man. Uh, let's go ahead and get this going. See if we can get enough for our loadout with the scavenger. Oh my god, dude, that scares the crap out of me every freaking time. I don't know what's up with Raven and making these loud noises in Warzone. I swear, every single update, there's always something super freaking loud that scares me. Like, why does it have to be so loud? I don't get it. Man, the haunting of Verdansk had the jump scares, you know? There's, there's always some type of random thing that's, like, really freaking loud. Or just louder than it needs to be. Alright, we got enough for the loadout. Heading over here and just hoping for the best, man. Oh my god. Uh, I'm just gonna throw it over here. Let's say, can I open it, please? Dude, can it just come in? <laughs> come on, let me get it, let me get it. Oh my god, I'm getting shot all the way up top. Oh my god, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> wow. We almost died there. I was going to inspect this baseball bat, though. Okay, so it's the same inspect as uh, Cold War and Black Ops 3 as well. I was kind of expecting it to be the same, if not just slightly different. Okay, got a satchel. I'm going to head over here and get a UAV. There's got to be some action here. I'm just hoping that it has like a little bit better lunge than the regular melee weapon since it took them a little bit longer to add it in. I mean, chances are it won't, but you can always have hope, you know? Nope. It's the same thing. Sounds pretty cool when you kill people, though. But it's the same exact thing as other melee weapons, unfortunately. But you would think when they would actually take time to add something in later, and when it actually dropped in Cold War, that it would be just a little bit different, you know? But I guess not. Underneath me. Ooh. Nope. Oh my god, dude. Whew, it's a little slow. Definitely not as fast as using a regular knife. It really isn't. I wonder where this other guy is. He's in here somewhere. Is he not on the roof? Wow. That is really surprising. I'm just heading off to the buy station over here, man. We got a decent amount of cash. We should get us another UAV going. And there's a bounty over there, too. Or maybe what I should do now is get a self-res going and then get the bounty. Yeah, let's just go and play it safe. Oh, uh, there we go. Let's get the bounty going. There's still definitely a lot of people in downtown. I just hope this doesn't go to prom. Okay. That's the guy that pretty much evaded us, I'm pretty sure. Well, not evaded us, but he was in that area and he just didn't really, like, kind of challenge at all. Right, that guy's heading off to the right. I'm gonna go for this guy dead ahead. Hop in the deadie now. Here's a new operator right here, guys. I use that quick execution as well, so people... Well, people can't even back out regardless, bro. I don't know why I even put it on, then. 
I really said so people don't back out. <laughs> people can't back out anymore. <laughs> I'm still trying to play it safe. <laughs> Enemy UAV oh, there's a dude sniping across. Enemy UAV overhead. Friendly loadout. Oh, you're dead, buddy. You tried. Here you go. He's dead. All right, let's get out of here. Not even worth it. Let's uh, let's get like a bounty going or something. That's down low. And there's a buy station there too. We can hit the buy. Oh, there's somebody right here. Wow, he tagged me up a bit. I gotta heal up. Oh, someone got a loadout. Oh no, he threw down smoke. What the hell? Really? Ah, oh, man. That is unfortunate, dude. Get recon on my location. He went straight for the vehicle. All right, let's head for this guy right here then. I think he went up the ascend. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, most definitely went up the ascend. I oh, actually, let's go for this guy down low over here. Why not? And then go for the guy up top. Nope. He's stuck. Yep, not messing with that. All right, let's see if we can go up the top here and take this guy out we know for a fact that he's up there chilling there's like two more people in this building but you guys know how it goes i i don't i don't go into that building i really don't came over here for the bounty man and i got endless action wild bro oh we have a uav i should have used it before i went up this ascent just to make sure he wasn't camping it get recon on my location okay he's above me UAV maybe all the way up top Got him. Man, this thing is rough to use. A little slow, bro. All right, there's two people down low right here. Oh. They're not down low. That's not good. Nope. Nope. There's no idea. I kind of choked that a little bit, but we're not going to talk about it, okay? Uh, we know this is there. We can go for that. There's still two people in that main build. Three people over there. Wow. That's pretty crazy. But overall, guys, this baseball bat, it's not the best weapon to use in Warzone, that is. In Cold War multiplayer, it's not that bad, but for Warzone, it's... Uh, it's pretty rough to use, man, because it's a little bit faster than the sledgehammer, but like you just don't like to see melee speed like this. You want it way faster. I'm not gonna go after anybody in this building. I don't see a reason why to. Uh, let's go for these guys over here. Ah, oh, he's not up here. There's no way. He'd have been shot me by now. I'm just hitting the buy station, getting a UAV, I guess. Get no location. way, dude. He took the Bertha. Oh my god, dude. What's up with everybody just hopping in vehicles and then dipping out this game? You guys notice that? It's like a reoccurring thing. I mean, there's a guy out here. There's gonna be two, though. I don't know if that's a good idea to go for. It's another kill if we can get out here and get lucky, though. Gotcha, buddy. Four hits with the baseball bat that's slow. It's like using a sledgehammer, essentially. It really is. All right, bounty got poached. Let's get that up. There's one behind me. I don't think we're going to be able to take him. Nah, oh, well, he just flew in over there. What the heck? Okay. Glad we didn't die. Oh, he's right here, actually. Well, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow more than likely gonna be one on the roof over here that's what i'm thinking i think i'm gonna get another uav just to make sure though
Get recon on my location. Oh, nice. Down low, actually. UAV entering the AO. Enemy soldier incoming. Here we go. Look him out. Be advised, UAV no. Nope. Sheesh. That's not good. He's going for roof. All right, well, that's fine. He can get roof. We can have roof over there all day, buddy. Because you're going to end up dying, and I'm not. I'm getting over here in the safe zone as fast as I possibly can right here, man. He's probably going to have to come to me anyways. I'm going to leave the chest in here, too. If somebody hears the chest in here, they'll think that it's good. Nobody's been in here. That's how you really trick somebody, bro. Got him. That's the same guy before. 100%, dude. Oh, dude, this is not good, guys. This is not good. We need to get there. We just need to get moving. No more waiting around. We got to get moving now. We got 30 seconds to get over there and no vehicle. I would say getting underneath in prison would be a good idea, but I'm just not entirely sure right now, guys. But overall, using this baseball bat so far, it's definitely a hard weapon to use in Warzone. It's one of those weapons that, you know, whenever you're playing really good competition, they're going to kill you every time because it takes you four hits to kill them, two hits to down somebody, and it's double the amount of time of using a knife. So if you get in a fight with somebody else that's actually meleeing and stuff, like, you are, you're done for, bro. There's no shot of you living. I wonder if there's somebody down here. Be careful coming in. I don't see anything. You always gotta be careful in some of these corners, man. You never know where somebody might be camping. And people love to camp in the weirdest spots they can. Um, I guess we can go for that. Just wrap around here and pick that up. Might as well. That'll give us a little bit of intel on somebody else. Okay. All right, the ghoulies closed. Yeah, I just I don't know where we can really get to here, man. I mean, maybe we could jump off and get to this rock out here or something. I just, I don't know right now, guys. I just don't trust staying up here, dude. I really don't. I guess I'd rather be out here in the open than screwed over there and have to jump off with other people there, you know? Oh my god. There's one ahead and there's one with a sniper up top, too. I don't think he knows that I'm even here. Wow. This guy up top might jump off after he kills him. If he kills him. Yeah, they're fighting each other right now. I'm staying in the bush. I don't know if he killed him or what. Oh, no, he killed him. Most definitely. Yep, his gas mask is tanking. He didn't hop off for the loot. I guess he's just going to stay high ground here. This is kind of nerve-wracking. Maybe I should have stayed... Uh... <laughs> prison dude i don't know maybe we can play these rocks and get lucky out here man it's a very risky place for me to be at well i mean i have circle dude i just don't trust this i can get sniped and popped from quite literally anywhere oh yep he's sniping at me he knows i'm, I'm here i just want to block that part chill over here it's more than likely nobody's gonna come from behind me here. God, these circles are the worst when you don't have a vehicle and you're knifing. They're so bad. Five remain. Stay sharp. I'm gonna pop a daddy here in a second, try and kill this guy. He had no idea, bro. That lunge was not half bad, though. Alright, so 1v1v1. There's one right there. Assaulting target. That's gotta be the sniper guy from before, more than likely. What is that? It's a UAV. Whatever. Oh, he got popped. Oh, he's dead ahead. No, that's the guy from before. 100%. Moving on enemy. Moving on enemy. Hopefully, he just had one. Not gonna happen, buddy. Get whacked. Let's go, baby. We got the dub. 
<laughs> that baseball bat's hard to use. It really is, bro. It, it's kind of like the sledgehammer. It's got that slow melee speed, and it's it's pretty rough. But we ended up getting the dub there. I'll take it. 13, 14 kills, something like that. That wasn't bad for that end game, you know? I'm surprised that one guy didn't see me, bro. He was clueless. <laughs> He just creeped up behind me and he just really did not see me. That's crazy. First game using the baseball bat and we got a dub, man. I swear, first game on is always the best game. Hopefully you guys ended up enjoying it. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below as well. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Fourth quarter shot, you know I get a ball and money in my pocket. No, I'm no stranger to ball.